The paper will begin to magically bend. All I have to do is rub. Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today, I'm here in Pisa, Italy. In today's video, I'm showing you how to do six magic food tricks. So if you're ready, lean towards hitting that thumbs up button and let's go. Here's a fantastic trick to do at the dinner table that's sure to amaze your friends and family. Check it out. So we're having lunch here in pizza. Veronica, would you like some wine? Yeah. See the water? That is incredible. How did you do that? Got you. Secret to that trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here's the explanation to the magic water to wine trick. I'm here in our hotel room in Pisa. Check out this view out the window right here. Woo! That is the Leaning Tower. Crazy view. Probably the craziest hotel room I've ever stayed in. This view is nuts. It's literally right there. Like, here's the bed. That's the view. <laughs> okay, here's what you'll need to pull off this amazing magic food trick. You'll need a wine glass and some red Kool-Aid. You wanna get the cherry flavor? I'm not sure if this is available all over the world. You can find the equivalent powdered juice drink in your country and you just wanna dump it into the wine glass. So once you've dumped the powdered drink into the glass, you just wanna simply spin it around like this to coat the inside of the glass with the powder of the drink. This is what makes the water instantly turn red and look like wine when it enters the glass. Coat the inside like this, kinda swirl it around you just want to get all that fine powder on the inside of the glass just like that You can then dump the excess powder back into the package and save it for your next performance The next thing you'll need is some water or aqua The powder makes the trick self-working to where all you have to do is pour and as you're pouring the water It will just instantly turn into what looks like wine. It's actually kind of like watered down Kool-Aid It's a great food trick to do at the dinner table with your friends and family very easy setup All it takes is a few seconds alone before dinner to set this up in the kitchen Then all you have to do is take your water and pour And that is the secret to the magic water into wine trick. For this food trick, you're going to take a classic Italian food and do something truly magical. Check it out. So being as we're here in Tuscany in Italy, I have a pasta noodle right here from our lunch. So we're gonna take the noodle just like this and I'm gonna bite it right in the middle, okay? Just there. Separate the two halves. So we have two different pieces of the noodle now. Got it split right in half. Now watch, all I have to do is rub and the noodle will magically restore itself. Completely back to one piece. You can hand this out for inspection, there's nothing to find. An amazing food trick that I'll teach you the secret to right now. Here is the secret to the magic broken and restored pasta noodle. So all you need for this is a pasta noodle. You need a cooked pasta noodle. Spaghetti works best. You could also use linguine or fettuccine. You just want a nice long noodle. About a foot long is the perfect length. And this is all about the angle that your viewer sees it from. From a backside view, here's what's happening. You're going to hold it between your fingers like this, the thumb and forefinger on each hand like this. So when you bring it up to your mouth, you're just going to slip the noodle behind your thumbs, just like this, so that when you spread your front forefinger, Fingers, it looks like the noodle is completely separated. So it's here, the four fingers are spread, and it looks like the noodle is in half. You've got the two pieces hanging on either side. Now all you have to do to restore is move these four fingers back into position, slip the noodle back over your thumbs in front of them, and then spread your fingers again to show that the noodle is completely restored. You can do like a nice dramatic pull out like this, show that it's completely healed all the way. It's a totally fun and impromptu food trick that you can do at the dinner table with just a little bit of practice on your sleight of hand. So you have the noodle here in front of both the thumbs, the four fingers pinching here. You're gonna bring it up to your mouth as if you're biting it and then these fingers are gonna cover you slipping the noodle behind your thumb so you're here at your mouth you've slipped it behind your thumbs bit it then spread the fingers to show it separated then the fingers are gonna come back in the noodle is gonna slip in front of the thumb and you show it restored and that is how you do the magic broken and restored pasta noodle all right we've left the leaning tower of pizza headed to Florence and now we're here in Florence Italy this was actually one of my dad's favorite cities in the entire world Oh, 
This is an amazing card trick with food that happens in the blink of an eye. Take a look. Okay, V, I have a cool card trick to show you. Check this out. The deck of cards here. They're all different cards, not all the same, anything like that. See? Yeah. All different? Yeah. Not a deck, deck or anything like that? Okay. <laughs> I'm actually going to dribble through the cards just like this. I want you to say stop whenever you would like. Okay. okay. So whenever you want any cards you want, just say stop. Stop. Right there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually going to have, uh, we're going to do three cards out of this. So one, two, three. Okay. Let's look at all three of these. We got the King of Spades, the Queen of Hearts, and the Two of Hearts. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take these cards and we're actually going to lose them back in the deck. Just like this. All three go inside. Okay. Just like that. Snap. And they've actually vanished out of the deck. They really are gone. And uh, they actually jump from the deck all the way into my pocket, I have a pack of gum. They've actually no gone way. inside the gum. So I take the deck and I'll put it here. Check this out. Are you kidding have, me? Yeah, I have my pack of gum here. A little rubber band around it. Okay, watch the pack of gum. Okay. Remember your card? Watch. Okay. Watch, 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 watch. See? The other two are actually inside the pack. You can see the gum right here. Yeah, they're yeah. actually inside the pack. If you watch, I take it like this. See, watch it. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> <laughs> I can't even. I, I don't even believe what I saw. <laughs> don't even. Are those the cards? Yeah, right King, King, King. I'll teach you the secret down. right now. Okay, here is the ingenious secret behind this amazing food trick. Here's what you need to pull off the flash gum trick. You need a deck of cards, and you're also going to need this right here. This is called flash gum. It's an ingenious trick, and it pretty much does all the work for you. All you have to do is snap your fingers, and the card will just appear right there on top of the pack. This is a specially gimmicked card. Let me show you how it works. So it looks like a normal playing card on both sides, but hidden inside the card is a flap, a spring-loaded flap that will pop back into position just like that. So as soon as I let pressure off of it, the playing card back just magically reappears. The flap is simply spring-loaded. The little piece of elastic thread right there, I don't know if you can see it, will pop it right back over. And it's woven through the card. You can barely see it. So it does all the work for you. All you have to do is fold it like this, hold the pressure, and when you let off with your thumb, that card will just appear right on top. Now the rest of the setup is equally as impressive. This bottom card, the queen, also folds open. This will create the bottom of our pack of gum. So it goes here, the little pack of gum goes face down just like that, and then the two folds out just like that to form the top and the side of it. So you're gonna set that right on there. And you're gonna take the king, fold it into position, and put it right on top. So once you've forced those three cards on the spectator, you can say, watch, I'm just gonna make them magically disappear from the deck, and then watch, they'll reappear. One right there, the king, and then the other two in a pinch, grab like this. You want it into this position just like this so that you can drop it into the other hand. And as you drop it, those cards will flap back into position in an instant. And it looks like the two cards appeared in your hands and the pack of gum is left just there. It's a super amazing and stunningly visual trick. That is flash gum. And that is how you do the magic flash gum trick. Here's a fun twist on a classic dinner table trick. Take a look. Okay, so we just grabbed dinner here in Pisa. I have a cool trick to show you. I have a little paper spoon here. You've seen me do a trick before on the channel where I actually bend a metal spoon. It's kind of like a little pocket version. As you can see, paper is completely straight. All I have to do is take it right down here in my hand and watch. And the spoon begins to magically bend. The secret to this one is extremely simple. Here's a quick rundown of how it works. We're in this quaint little Italian bistro and I'm going to show you the secret behind the magic bending spoon. It works just like the magic fish. This paper is actually heat sensitive and it will begin to bend simply because of the heat of your hand. So all you have to do is place the spoon, the paper spoon, in your hand and the paper will begin to magically bend on its own. The heat of your hand causes the paper to react, making it look like the little printed spoon is just magically bent. Then to make it unbend, you simply take the spoon spoon off of your hand, drop it on the table, and because there's no heat anymore, the paper will begin to slowly unbend and flatten out. It's a super fun and easy to do trick. It also comes in a fork version. Really the definition of self-work is just set it on your hand and it begins to bend. 
can instantly hand this out to the audience for examination. There's nothing to find, and they can do the trick themselves by just putting the paper in the palm of their hand. Stay tuned until the end of the video for a special giveaway. And that is the secret behind the magic bending paper spoon. This food trick is perfect to do anytime you're at a restaurant. Here's a performance of what it looks like. Okay, so we're right outside a restaurant. I have a little salt shaker here that I took from inside. Uh, nothing in my hands, correct? Nothing? Yeah. Okay, clear? Yeah. All right, watch. I'm gonna take the salt and I'm going to put it here in my hand. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Let's see? So we get it all inside? Yeah. 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 You can see the salt shaker's empty, yeah? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Now watch my hand, I got the salt there, watch. What? Oh if I reach up here in the air, I can actually grab it. Right my mouth and walk it. I need to know how that happened. Okay, here's the secret behind the magic salt shaker. Okay, here is the explanation to the magic disappearing salt trick. This is actually a specially gimmicked salt shaker. It's not a normal salt shaker. Let me show you how it works. When you tilt it upside down, all the salt actually disappears into the lid of the salt shaker. All that salt will gather in the top and then you can twist it, the top, and it will lock all the salt inside and it won't fall down back out of the top. Then to make the salt reappear, all you have to do is twist the top and the salt will instantly begin to re fill the salt shaker. So it's a really simple routine. Act like you're dumping the salt inside. Once you have it all inside, you're simply gonna twist the lid of the shaker to lock all that salt in so that you can show the shaker completely empty. You're gonna do a little magic acting right here, squeezing the salt out of existence, it vanishes. And then over here in this hand, you can still show the salt shaker empty. There's nothing to palm, there's no thumb tip, nothing like that. And then to make it reappear, all you have to do is discreetly twist that top in your hand. The salt shaker will begin to magically refill. Now you can do a lot of different presentations with this. I kind of like to make it look like I'm grabbing the salt out of the air and tossing it back in here. But you can get creative with it and try different performances. Stay tuned to the very end of the video for a special giveaway. I'm giving this away to one lucky comment in the comment section. And that is how you do the magic disappearing salt trick. Okay, this one is the magic instant breakfast trick. Watch this. Okay, so we just grabbed breakfast here in Pisa. Did you want fruit? Yeah. I uh, only have pastries though. Got a little orange napkin. See? Watch. All I do is pick it. I stuff it down in my fist like this. <laughs> Watch, you can see it happen. <gasps> Have you been able to do that the whole time? <laughs> Okay, here is the secret behind the magic orange trick. This is actually not a real orange. It's hollow inside and it's rubber, so you can take the sash and stuff it right down inside. The little silk scarf hides inside perfectly so that you can make it look like it magically turns into an orange. So the key is to conceal the fake orange in your hand before the trick starts. And this leaves the hole right here at the top for you to stuff sash down inside. In the front, it looks like you're just stuffing it down into your fist. You might also fool any magicians in the audience because they're going to think that you're stuffing it down into a thumb tip. What I do is I put my thumb over the hole, turn, and you can instantly show the orange just like that. And what's great is you can really show it cleanly, both hands empty. Turn around like this because your thumb's covering that hole. It creates a very clean looking illusion that that scarf is really just morphed into a little orange. Super fun trick. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm giving this away to one lucky comment. And that is the secret behind the magic scarf to the orange trick. All right, guys, that is it. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me and share it with a friend who you think might like it. Also, be sure to head over to our online shop. That's www.evaneratv.com and check out all the cool magic tricks and the laugh at life gear. We have international shipping available on all of our items. So if you live in Italy or anywhere else in the world, we'll get your items to you. Hopefully in time for the holidays. We have a ton of new products on the site already and we're dropping more over the coming weeks so be sure to keep checking back each day to get your hands on the new exclusive merch. Thank you to everyone who has placed an order on EvanAraTV.com. I sincerely appreciate all of your support and help with growing this movement. Alright guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video so if you want to win one, all you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section below and give the video a thumbs up. Also, please be subscribed to the channel. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button and tap the little notification bell so you see all of our videos. Those three things will make you eligible to win the giveaway prizes. Make sure you leave as many comments as you can in the comment section because I'll be picking random comments and mailing you the magic so that you can do the tricks at home. All right, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a private message on YouTube with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway.
giveaway and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on the video and leave your comments in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with all the exciting stuff that we've been doing on our world tour, we're finishing up our Europe leg right now. We're here in Florence, Italy, getting ready to fly to Germany. Head over to Evan Era Vlogs. You'll see a lot of cool videos that you don't see here on Evan Era TV. And I'm going to be announcing some really exciting giveaways on the Evan Era Vlogs channel. So if you want to participate in those giveaways, make sure you subscribe to that channel. Link in the description, also a little thing on the end screen. If you have an Instagram account, go follow me on Instagram. Also a lot of cool videos and pictures being posted there. You'll see them all live before they hit the YouTube channel. My Instagram name is Evan Rosenman. There's also a link in the description for that as well. Go follow me and send me a message. Leave me a comment. Let me know you're from YouTube. From here in Italy, thank you for watching. If you're new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. You can check out the Evan Era Vlogs channel right down there. It's my second channel on YouTube. Check out the shop down there as well and pick up some merch if you want to help support our channel to make more cool videos like this. You can check out another one of my videos right over there. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.